So let's go ahead and complete example one using the AC method. Okay, so we have 6x squared plus 23x plus 20. In the AC method, the first thing we have to do is factor out the largest common factor. When we look at the variables, nope, no common factor. 6, 23, and 20 do not have a common factor. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to create my table. So I have the factor of AC. What is A? 6. And what's C? 20. So that equals 120. So I need to find the factor of 120. Okay? They need to equal plus 23, or B. So let's go ahead and name out all of the factors of 120. 1 and 120. When you add them, you get 121. Keep on going. 2 and 60. So when you add them, you get 62. And then 3 and 40. When you add them, you get 43. Uh, let's see. We have 4 and 30. When you add them together, you get 34. Um, 5 and uh, 24. So when you add them together, you get 29. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's keep on going. 6 and 20. Okay, that's 26. Um, 7 doesn't work. How about 8? 8 goes in. Fifteen. <laughs> so when you add those, you get twenty-three. Okay? So we have eight and fifteen. Okay. So what do I do? How do I um, set that up? Uh, because my next instruction is split the middle term with the correct factors. The factor is eight and fifteen. So I'm going to change that into eight x plus 15x. What does that equal when you add them? You get positive 23x. That re resembles that middle term. So we have 6x squared plus 8x plus 15x plus 20 equals 0. Okay, <clears throat> now let's group them. 2. Now let's look at that first group. What's the common factor? We have an x, and we also have a 2. And when we pull that common factor out, and we have 6x squared plus 8x, I'm going to divide everything by 2x, so I end up with 3x plus 4. Right here, 3x plus 4. And the way we could check it is we can distribute this, and we should get the same thing up here. Yep, we do. I know it without doing it. Okay, now let's look at 15x and 20. Mm, what's a common factor? 5. So when we do 15x plus 20, and we're going to divide everything by 5. So we have 3x plus 4 equals 0. If you do not see this, you did something wrong. Okay. So now I'm going to factor out a 3x plus 4. Okay, when I do that, I get 2x plus 5 with multiplication right there. And then now I can separate this out and I get 3x plus 4 equals 0. And then 2x plus 5 equals 0. So I have negative 4 negative 4, and then I have 3x equals negative 4, so I'm running out of room, okay, so when you have 3x, we're going to divide both sides by 3, so I have x, whoops, I have x equals negative 4 divided by thirds, that's one of my answers, let's bring this over here, there's not much room, Ah. Okay, the other side was way too messy, so I'm going to rewrite that. So we have 3x 
plus 4 and then 2x plus 5 equals 0. Let's go ahead and split that. So we have 3x plus 4 equals 0 and then 2x plus 5 equals 0. Subtract both sides by negative, I mean uh, by 4 and then we have 3x equals negative 4. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 x equals negative four thirds. I'm going to subtract both sides by five on this one. So we have two x equals negative five. Divide both sides by two and x equals negative five halves. And guys, this is an and. And that's my final answer. Took a while, but we did it. Good job.